Sa confidence interval, na-compute na natin yung estimate ng mu na gumagamit ng z-distribution at saka ng t-distribution. Doon sa mga nabanggit na confidence interval, yung population standard deviation ay given at yung sa pangalawa naman ay hindi given. Now, ang gagawin naman natin ngayon sa ating confidence interval for a population mean is yung pair t-distribution. Ang pair t-distribution, eh, tinatawag din na matched pair design or yung may mga questions or yung may mga data set na meron before and after measurement. Now, T-procedure ang gagamitin natin dito sa match pair design na to. So, ang uh, kaibahan nga lang niya sa T-distribution na nakuha natin before is that yung paggamit ng formula natin, we have X bar plus or minus T star times the standard deviation all over the square root of N. Ito yung pagbabasihan natin ng ating pair T distribution. Pero this time, meron tayo ngayong mean difference plus or minus T star times the standard deviation difference all over the square root of n. Now, ano yung difference na to na tinatawag para sa ating pair T distribution? Ito yung pagkuha noong difference noong sample 1 at noong sample 2 at ang kukunin natin ngayon is yung third column natin which is the differences noong set A at set B. So, ang X bar difference, kukunin natin yung mean difference ng ating two samples, ng sample 1 and ng sample 2, at yung S difference naman will be the standard deviation of the difference ng sample 1 at ng sample 2. So, ito yung ating base formula. Parehas pa rin yung gagamitin natin formula, pero iba na nga lang yung mga data set na gagamitin natin. So, dito sa example na to, Ryan included a data for two different types of corn seed from a normally distributed population. Now, the SRS of head corn in pounds per acre will be measured as follows. So, ito yung ating mga data set para sa mga regular head of head corn at saka sa mga kiln dried corn. So, ang gagawin natin dito, kailangan daw natin makuha yung 95% confidence level and construct the estimated population mean difference of regular and kiln dried corn. Now, ang unang step natin is pagkuha ng mean and standard devi de deviation difference ng ating two data set. So, yung ating unang pares, meron tayong 1,903 at saka 2,009. So, what you need to do is to take the difference of those two values. So, meron kayong negative 106. Now, yung second pair nyo naman is 1,935 and 1,915. Now, kunin nyo yung difference nyo at meron kayong 20, and so on. So, kukunin nyo yung differences ng bawat isang sample para makuha nyo yung inyong third list. So, yung third list nyo na yun, yun yung gagamitin nyo para makuha yung X bar difference at saka S difference ng ating two samples. So, yung pag nakuha nyo na yung mga computation, hindi ko na siya pinakita, pero yung mean difference ng ating panginibagong list will be negative 33.727. At yung standard deviation naman ng list na yon will be 66.171. With a sample size of 11 and degrees of freedom na 10. Now, ang given sa atin is yung confidence level which is 95% at gagamitin natin to sa pagkuha ng T-star ng ating distribution with the degrees of freedom of 10. Now, sa step number 2, kailangan yung isatisfy yung mga conditions dun sa problem at nasatisfy naman siya kasi yung population ay galing sa normally distributed na, pop, na, na distribution. Yung sample nyo is randomly selected at kapag ka ginraft nyo yung dalawang sample nyo using the normal probability plot, mapapansin nyo na approximately normal din yung mga samples nyo kaya yung mga conditions na nabanggit is satisfied. Kaya pwede tayong mag-compute ng ating confidence interval at pwede tayong mag-rely doon sa validity ng ating result. So yung step number 3 is to find its critical value. So tulad nung T-star last example, it's 1 minus C all over 2 so it will give you 0 0.025 using your calculator or yung inyong um, 
table of values sa T-score, yung ating T-star ng 95% is 2.28. Now, yung step number 4 is direct substitution ng ating mga values dun sa formula. Mean difference plus or minus T-star times the standard deviation of difference all over the square root of n. So we have negative 33.72 plus or minus 2.28 times 66.171 all over the square root of 11. Now, sa illustration ko, yung 95% confidence level natin, muli yung ating difference of mu, eh hindi natin nakukuha yung totoong uh, value niya. Ang kailangan lang natin makuha today is yung range of values na magka-capture dun sa true population mean, kaya gumagamit tayo ng confidence interval. And after you do the math using your calculator, yung ating interval or confidence interval for this t distribution of difference of two means is negative 78.18 and 10.73. So therefore, we are 95% confident that the true mean difference of regular, regular and kiln dried corns lies between negative 78.18 uh, pounds per, per acre and 10.73. So yan yung pag-establish or pag-construct ng confidence interval kapag ginagamitan natin siya ng paired T-design.